Okay, my name is Daniel Alonso, and this is our topic. Our place of study is very interesting, as it is a very stream environment. The high altitude Andean lakes face the highest UVB radiation of the world, a wide range in temperatures, high salinity, uh, low nutrient availability, and uh, high concentration of heavy metals, metallized, and especially arsenic. This environment evokes uh, some similarity with the early Earth and the Martian surface. So our isolate is from uh, one particular lake, the Socompa Lake. This is our strain. In previous works, it was assigned to the Nestorianconia genus and was determined that it has high tolerance to sodium chloride, sodium carbonate, and arsenate. It was in fact very thermophile, but the functional traits of its genome have remained uncovered. So we sequenced the genome with 454 technology, which is at all time obsolete, but 10 years ago when the genome was sequenced, uh, it still was going on. We assembled the genome with a assembler designed for such kind of technology, and we proceeded to the analysis. So, at first, we did 16S using the market provided by the genome and also whole genome analysis through HANI, uh, which means average nucleotide identity. Both of them show similar patterns, which uh, Esterenconia A20 and shows more affinity with Nesterenconia hyokgal, which was isolated from a Korean food, the hyokgal. Also through, also through this analysis, we, we suspect that Nesterenconia A20 could be a new species. Uh, it does not exceed the threshold of 95% proposed for the average nucleotide identity analysis. Okay, genome annotation was performed with PROCA. We modified the program to include a custom, more ex extensive database. And we determined that the genome is, it has a polyextremophilic nature. These traits are probably the result of the microbe, microbe adaptation to its extreme, to extreme habitat. We had a uh, ABC transporters well developed to capture phosphate and phosphonate, also to osmo protection to capture several kinds of nutrients. Also, a two component system uh, fine tuned to respond to phosphate limitation, oxygen limitation, low temperatures, which are some of the extreme conditions of the environment in which the bacteria lives. So one of the things we looked for was what are the genes which are unique to our strain. So we use this software uh, which outputs several files but one of them is a file which which has the single genes. We studied all of them and we got these traits, some related with phosphate starvation, multidrug resistance, persistence, some related to osmotic stress. Other traits uh, we can find in our genome uh, are some enzymes with possible biotechnological applications, some pathways uh, for metabolize some oncological drugs or produce some compounds of interest, 
Well, also we studied the, the UV resistome, a group of genes related with these characteristics, and we compared the UV resistome of our strain against all the genomes available within the genus, and we discovered that, in fact, all UV Resistome is the biggest in number of genes um, to give support to this we perform some assays and yes our strain is highly resistant to UV and also is more efficient in removing photo products of UVB than the reference strain we use it to compare. In this case, it's Nestrenconia allotorinans. In this picture, you can see some similarities between our external environment and others, which are being the focus of the scientific community, like the Mars environment and the early air, which is related with the origin and evolution of the life and we propose that the strain and others from the high altitude underlays could be models to study the life in this context um, okay so that's it